All right, I bought these plugs on eBay, and these coils on eBay. And this is my old coil, which is the long one was no good. But my short one on my bike, as you saw, was good. So we're gonna test these. Now the one I bought on eBay has the same problem with mine. There's no connection here. So this is supposed to be well grounded there. But we're gonna test it because this is my old one, which was bad. And this is the new one that I got from eBay, which is also bad. But we're gonna test them both. And we'll put it on 200. And you can see over here. You can see it reads good on this side. Actually a little low, 4.6. Should be like closer to five. But that's all right. So we're gonna go back over here. Move this over to 20K. Check this, this is the bad one I had on my bike. And you see it's only reading nine. It should be reading 17, 18, 19 around there. It's only reading nine. So, I'm going to throw that one out. Now, the new one that I got from, or the used one, I should say, that I got from eBay. Got on 200. Reads 5.2, 4.9. On this end, it reads good. But, when we go to this side... It's only reading 8 or 9, and it should be at 17, 18, 19, around there. So this one's no good as well. So, let's check the other one, the short one. This is the short one that we got from eBay. And on this end, we're reading good. A little low, but it's all right. 4.7, 5.0 around there. And on the other end, get this to stay. On the other end, we read 19, 18, that's where we want to be. So this, this small one is good. The only problem I have with eBay is that this is too short for my bike. I needed the long one. But we're going to have to try to see if we can make that work. And that's how you check your, uh, your coils on a 1986 Suzuki Intruder VS700.